All right, now Samsung's Edge panel is one of the most underrated features that we have got on Galaxy phones and not many of you guys are using it effectively. By default, we get some useful stock apps for the Edge panel, which can be added by going to the settings. Now, apart from the stock panels, we also have few other Edge panels which are pretty useful. I did make a separate video on this, which is kind of a part one of this video where I showcased close to about 10 edge panels, which you guys must check out. If you have missed that video, go ahead and check the link in the description. I will also pin it in the comment section. Now, this is the second part of that video in which I'm going to showcase a few more edge panels, which you may like. So without wasting any time, let's dive right into the video. The first edge panel is recent calls. Now, I'm sure you might be thinking, what is the point of having a recent calls on the edge panel? Let me tell you why exactly you need to have this. Now, let's say you have set a different theme other than the stock theme that you get on the Galaxy phones. Or let's say you have selected a particular color palette. The colors will get applied even on the icons of the recent calls on phone application. As you can see here, this is the recent call I have. And here, as you can see, incoming, outgoing and even the missed calls are in the same color. Sometimes we really can't make out which one is a missed call. Personally, I face this challenge. Sometimes I miss out on the missed calls because there is no red icon here which says you have missed this particular call. Now, if you look at this recent call edge panel, it will clearly show you the calls that you have missed. It is indicated in red, the incoming calls are in green and the outgoing calls are in blue. And even the ones that you have blocked are clearly shown in red. That is the use of this particular recent calls edge panel. Okay, now for those of you who invest in coin markets, here is a cool edge panel which shows the coin market stats in this simple layout. I'm sure you would love to have a quick access to the coin market stats, which shows exactly how that particular coin is doing with a click of a button. Now here it's not a click of a button, it is just a quick swipe you need to do to see the market stats right here. As you can see here, I have got an option to update the current status. And when I tap on view all, it is gonna show all the coins which are available in the market. And you can select the coins by tapping on the star mark here and selecting them as your favorites. Unfortunately, the app supports only a few currencies here. As you can see, I think the developer should add more currencies here. Anyways, let's move to the next one. This is called Volume Edge. We've got a light version as well as a pro version. As you can see, I can increase or decrease the media volume here with this bar. And here we have got a brightness bar on which I can increase or decrease the screen brightness. Now there are a couple of more bars here, which is for pro. We've got notification volume bar and we also have call volume bar here. Now these two are accessible only if you have a pro version. I know it may not make sense to have these bars here, but if you're looking for a change, if you're bored of your volume bars and the way you access it, this is the panel you can try. The next one is called Edge People. As you can see, the moment you open this Edge panel, we get favorite contacts, call logs, and keypad as well. If you want to dial your contact right from here, you can do that. And of course, you can add your favorite contacts here for a quick access. And at the bottom, we also have an option to add any contacts right from the bottom here. Next one is sticky notes. As the name suggests, we can have notes on the Edge panel here. It's a very simple looking interface we have here. We can just tap on add new to add a particular note and select any color you want and tap on save. Moving on to the next one, we have got this edge panel called drink water. As we all know, drinking two to three liters of water every day is really important for health and you can keep a track of it on this edge panel. As you can see, you can configure the amount of water that you want to drink in every interval and you can also set total daily goal here. Once it's set, all you need to do is tap on drink every time you drink that configured amount of water. That is going to be useful indeed. Now the last app on the list is called Browser Quick Links. And as the name suggests, you can add browser quick links on this particular edge panel. As you can see, I already have a few links here. If you want to add more links here, just tap on plus. Here you can copy and paste the website you want and tap on OK. The link will be available right here on the edge panel for a quick access. These are some of the edge panel which I'm showcasing in this particular episode. The previous episode which I posted some time ago will have some interesting edge panels which you guys must check out. There are almost about 10 edge panels that I've showcased in that video and I'm sure you're going to love those edge panels. 
So don't forget to check out that video. The link is in the description. And yeah, all the links for these edge panels which are showcased in this video are in the description. So if you're interested in any of them, go ahead, download these panels. I will soon post another video with some premium edge panels for you guys. I will download them, try it out and let you know how they are. So stay tuned for that video and be sure to subscribe to the channel and smash that like button if you find this video useful. That's all I want to share with you guys in this video. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers. Bye-bye.